Oh, is this for Jess? This is allowed. This is more than allowed. I am not being forced to show everybody this at the top of the show. Blink twice if you're in trouble, Brandon. Good, you deserve it. Hey! <laughs> Listen, it's Jess. Hey, it's Jess. we already sold five bags. Woo! Just went live. Wait, I don't even drink tea that much. Like I drink, the, I still have my tea left over because I have one every like couple of months. Like, so mm. I, I, I'll, I'll purchase that. Dude, we've been fighting colds for like a month straight. We drank the- You have the, been sick a lot. Drank the poo out of that tea. There you go. That tea does not have any poo in it, by the way. <laughs> a sharp right turn at you in the right direction welcome to another edition of the grossly perna show i'm tom grossly that's brandon perna and this is g p -S -S. whoa hello hello everybody today's show is going to suck <laughs> why would you say that why would Don't you spoil watch. it leave now it's gonna be stupid <laughs> listen we got a bunch to talk about there's a lot we were talking about doing a show on monday we were like oh we're gonna do a wednesday show or maybe we'll skip friday we'll probably wind up skipping friday because it seems yeah. like this is probably the last gasp of nfl news for a hot second unless there's like you know a trade with the yeah. vikings trading up in the draft the t higgins goes somewhere what have you it seems like now the road is set, not only to WrestleMania, but to the NFL draft. And listen, WrestleMania is next weekend, buddy. Next, next weekend? weekend? I'll be there. I'll be oh, there. Oh, you're going to be there. Both nights, baby. Mm, 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 nice. Mm, mm, mm. It's going to be great. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. we get... Dude, Broncos yeah. fans, are we are so all over the map. All right? We got rid of Russell Wilson. We're like, okay, let's trade up and get Drake May. That's not possible. Let's trade up and get J.J. McCarthy. Well, let's just take J.J. McCarthy. Yeah. Oh, shit. We got to trade up to get J.J. McCarthy. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, let's go back to Bo Nix or Penix. Oh, how about we just rock with Stidham, and now we'll get Dak Prescott next year when the Cowboys don't resign him. So in the last, I don't know, month, we have gone from Russ to J.J. to Nix to Dak to... Okay, maybe one of those other guys we can get a little later. Rattler, Pratt. I would like Penix, but I don't. I just don't feel like we're super interested in Penix. But maybe that's the biggest sign pointing that Sean Payton likes Penix. Hey, oh, dude, yeah, I saw that clip that you posted about Sean Payton being ruthless. Do we have that? Yes. Oh, of course. Okay, I'll you show you. I got two clips. Okay, dose, <laughs> dose. Yeah, I want to talk about this because it. It so funny. I am I'm start I'm all in. I'm all in with Sean Payton. For better or worse, like let's let's freaking ride, Sean. Mm -hmm. Let's all right. all right. I'm gonna get both clips. Okay, so you you go go ahead. I don't mean to keep stepping on you. No, if you're not stepping on me, I was saying if you want to provide context like before the lead in. Yeah. That's yeah. So owners meetings. I played this in yesterday's video, but uh you know, media gets access. They want to talk to coaches. They got all this access, stuff. So access. each coach gets a little table, bunch of people line up around with their dumbass microphones and ask them questions that, you know, they're going to give whatever answers. Sean Payton. What are you going to ask Sean Payton? Uh, we're going to ask him about Russell Wilson because we have to. Because why not? And the question was about like, hey, was it was it a tough decision? To make considering you're gonna have 85 million in dead cap to, to get rid of Russ. So uh here's I got two clips here. Here's the, you, the first one that was on, on Twitter. I got you, Terry. Cool. Just give me a second, Terry. Was it difficult, Russ, knowing that the dead cap consequences were so severe to make that decision to let him go? No. 
<laughs> Whoa! It is. It is... No, no. <laughs> it, it's just it like not absolutely difficult. not. Didn't even give it a second thought. They said dead money. I said I don't care. He's dead to me. Yeah. So Sean is. He said three things recently that are all kind of like knocks on Russ. Mm -hmm. There was that. There was uh, Marvin Mims after we traded Jerry Judy. He's like, we got to we got to get Marvin Mims the ball. We got to be better at getting him opportunities. Meaning Russ wasn't able to do that. And the other thing he's they're asking about like quarterback play, like what can they do better, or something like that. And he's like, We can't take as many sacks as we did. So you cannot take that amount of sacks. Like, so all of Russ's flaws. Now, that was he Sean Payton went on to extrapolate on that answer. And usually, like in a video, I'm gonna I'm gonna play that to give like the context, right? Sure. But I didn't put it in the video because I don't think it actually I think as he explains it, it just makes it even worse for us. So here's the, the full answer, starting with no. No. I mean, it's always difficult when you take on a cap hit like that. Um, we spent some time deciding how we were going to take that. Um, and then we move forward. So it's it's not even about Russ. It's just like. Yeah, you know, it's difficult when you have to eat that much dead money because a player yeah. is awful. But I'm not even going to talk about the player. We're just going to figure out how we could take that dead cap hit because the player is so awful. What he said is we talked about how we spread out that money, not yeah. like whether Russ was a, a decision or not. That that decision was already made. Yeah. My question to you is, do you think how many other coaches in the league do you think would have given that brutal of an answer? Because my thought is like, hey, we're happy. Like most coaches would be like, you know, we're uh, happy with what Russ contributed to the team. A decision like this is never easy. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, but ultimately, we thought the best path forward to was to to move on, and hopefully, Russ gets a a better opportunity. Uh, somewhere else well obviously it's two completely different situations right like with justin fields and russell wilson because yeah. one was drafted when there's not dead cap but even the way like the bears talk about justin fields like yeah it's a bit complicated you know things just kind of didn't work out like it's a little bit more generalized i think there are definitely a few co like bill belichick would just be like i straight up hate that guy <laughs> just be like no nope, that guy don't give a crap that's fine um there are very few people that i think would jump into that like, just because I think his fans were so used to coach speak. And if you're not sure what that is, go listen to like any NFL coach talk after a press conference. And you probably have to listen to maybe like three press conferences. And you're like, oh, they say like the exact same yeah. thing, or they just say nothing, but it sounds really good and flowery. So, yeah. Yeah. It, it there's usually not that level of directness. That happened though this past season with a coach. And we were like, wow, I can't believe the coach is talking like this. Who was that? Oh, <laughs> shit, you're right. I, right. Oh, my God. You know what I'm talking about? Like, there we were like, holy crap. Like, this is very, I don't remember who it was. No. Oh, my God. You know what I'm talking about, though? Like, it happened this, like, we talked about it on GPS. And we were yeah. like, damn, like, this coach is being, like, very transparent. Like, very, this is how it, I said, why do I feel like it was Peyton? Was it talking about the Russell, like the Wilson situation? Like the mm. one where they offered him, like, you know, to take away his, uh, like the injury stuff? No, because after that, like Sean did like PR controls. Like, hey, I don't know why people think Russ and I have a bad relationship. Yeah, but like was the initial one maybe? I'm just trying to remember like what it yeah, was. Yeah, no, it, it was about a player. I don't think it was Sean in the Broncos. Uh, fudge. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah, uh, people are saying McDaniel, Rivera. I don't think about... Oh, ma oh, that's what it was. Yes, thank you. It was Sean Payton. It was about Nathaniel Hackett. Remember Hackett? Like It oh. was like around like August or whatever, and he was just like, boom, 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 boom. That's what it was. That's well, yeah, we that was about. that was a huge story. Yeah, yes. <laughs> That's when Thank I was you. like, "Dang, Sean, Sean's ruthless." I don't know if I like it. Yeah. Now I like it. 
Now I like it. Well, now you're also on the ship and you're like, okay, we moved on from Russell Wilson. So like you have to like kind of say, I'm all aboard because otherwise I don't know what the hell we're doing. Also, Jerry yeah. with a pity for the kitty. Listen, going to cost the Lions at least two, hopefully the NFC Championship game against the Packers. That's what the hope and dream is, that I could keep it alive. Um, but we'll uh, we'll see. And all I can say is... Buckle up. We're going to have some fun. Have some we're going to have some fun. Appreciate you, Terry. Yeah, what, we, we talked about the no. hip drill. We're going to talk about all the other new rules that kind of have been enacted these past couple of days. Kickoff is completely different now. We talked about that a lot uh, the last episode, and that is now officially a thing. So the kickoffs will be different. They now the Lions also shout out to the Lions proposing the rule that got accepted that it protects a third challenge. If you get one of your first original two, you're successful on that. So can you challenge um a legal formation? X. Ugh. Can you challenge a legal formation? Oh boy, here we go. I don't think so. I don't think so. One of my favorite moments. That's it. Yeah, that also was terrible to wake up to yesterday. Holy crap, man. Yeah, that shit is crazy. Like, I just went on, like, I saw things about Baltimore. I was like, oh, what's going on? And seeing that, it's just all the yikes. All yeah, the like, my, my Twitter is 95% sports. Yes. Right? So if it's, like, a crazy highlight, it doesn't even matter if it's football. If it's, like, a dunk, if it's a hockey thing. Mm -hmm. I log on, I see, like, 80 retweets, tweets, quote tweets of, like, a video. Uh, and that was, that overtook it. Like, you know, it's like a crazy yeah. news or, or, or real world story when your sports Twitter becomes like, oh shit, this is a terrible thing that happened. And everybody you follows retweeting like one of the most insane things you've seen. And how fast the bridge fell is like, yeah, dude, it was it was legit horrifying. Yeah, also, yeah. that's like every like, dude, I watched what was that like the Mothman Chronicles like growing up. Like I saw the that. Mothman and prophecies. That's one. Yeah, dude. Like I've always I don't mind bridges, but like that. But yeah, just to see that. And thankfully, there was people that that came out and they they stopped you know people from crossing over. I know that there were still lives lost, but yeah, know, it, it was just uh, yeah, it's just awful stuff to see. And just yeah, thoughts thoughts with. All those affected um, because you mentioned kind of the everything in sports that's going on. I want to ask if you did see about the Green Bay Packers and the beef that they currently have with the city of Green Bay. Because No, but I love it. OK. All right. I love it. I, I saw like a basically I saw a headline saying like Mark Murphy upset about city of Green Bay telling him something about the stadium a lease some sort of lease so yes let me i'm gonna i'm pulling this up right now because is this is a landlord feud yeah, it, it's somebody not pay rent on time they pay so let me be very very clear too the odds of something happening where the packers are not in green bay is point zero 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 like one percent they still have like nine years left on the deal this move them to saint paul Nothing that's imminent. Move them to St. Paul. Shut up, Perna. But... Move them to Bismarck, North Dakota. Billings, Montana. Yay on sour beers, but only like one per oh, time. Sour oh. beers are, I like a sour no, beer. No, I like them. I can only do so many before like my, uh, mm -hmm. my stuff. If I got to drink a beer because I don't really drink beer, I'm going to drink a sour beer. Okay. So let me show you this. So the Packers, like, I love them. They're a little petty. So basic, not Tom Petty, but basically what happened was yesterday, because like it's the owner's meeting and all that great, wonderful stuff. So the issue was Mark Murphy came out and basically expressed his disappointment over the fact that the city of Green Bay walked away from negotiations to like renew like a lease and what have you. And basically the Packers have came out and said, like, we want to invest all this money within the next few years. We're going to invest like a one point something billion dollars, like into the stadium. We already were going to build up a whole bunch of like stuff like the concourse. And so the actual, so that made headlines. Like that made some stories, of course, like with Green Bay. Green Bay responded as well and basically was just like, hey, like you guys can make upgrades without needing this renewal, especially because you got the money from the stock sale. Like, so you already got it from the public. Green Bay's not asking for any future public money, nothing like that. 
but the actual Packers Twitter account like tweeted this out. So like, it's a negotiation tactic, right? Mm, it's basically sure. like, we're so disappointed. So basically, I'm curious, did they make poor Wes write this? They did make Wes write this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wes. Shout out Wes Hodkowitz, Salty Earth. I love him. So basically, the Packers, Mark Murphy just talking about nine years left on the current lease, so there's no worries there. But a few weeks ago, Green Bay walked away from it and said, we're not doing this right now. So honestly, not only disappointed, very surprising, community old team, we're going to give back, blah, 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 a billion dollars, 1.5. And so, yeah, it's very, of course, like one-sided from the Packers. But this is like a stupid-ass lease feud that's going on again. The Packers are not going anywhere. They're staying in Green Bay. I know I saw some people panicking about it. No. this <laughs> First of all, it's not something we have to worry about for like another decade. And two, there is no financial sense or no financial world where this works or any side for them to leave. So it's going to be fine. But I did see people talking about it yesterday. I know you Saskatoon. Really I saw it. move the Packers to Saskatoon. No, that's not. That's not it. The Calgary Packers. Brandon. The Vancouver Packers. Problem is I can't even say much because you beat the Packers last year. So, like, I can't even. No, I know. Yeah. It's, you, that ended up screwing us, though. Like. It's true. When it, that win streak was the worst Amazing. win streak in Broncos history. Worst. Fucked us for an eternity, possibly. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was I fun while it happened. Don't get me wrong. When it was happening, you're like, that was, that I was like, football is so back. Peace. Hindsight, I wish we could have lost all of those games. And we're, we are drafting Caleb Williams right now. And I would mandate that he wear a pink uniform every day as quarterback. Okay. Can I ask you a question yeah. that is going to border on like slightly controversial? Yes, please. Okay. I'm going to pull up something. Knowing it's you asking it, I'm 100% on board. Okay. If Adam were about to ask that question, five <laughs> points, I'd say do not. what Whatever you're thinking, get it out of your brain. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I am going to use a Twitter account of a person that I don't associate with. It's just aggregate BS, what have you. But this is where the question comes in. Okay. So I want to talk about Caleb Williams, but before that, I know it's not, uh, I, I'm not a fan, whatever, whatever, whatever. You're not um, a fan of Caleb Williams. Cause he likes the color pink. Is that what you just said? Nope. Not at all. Dom okay. Kleiman, so not a fan of him. So obviously this is also bait, right? Post this video and just be like, yep, whatever. So then comes out and says, many fans are upset about Caleb Williams wearing lip gloss, pink phone, pick nails, and a pink wallet, leave the kid alone. Okay. So I, again, think that this is also engagement bait because sure. also to list out every individual thing and being like, oh, just because he's wearing lip gloss, what pink thing, whatever, whatever. It's obviously bait. So yeah. I don't think this is a story. Sure. However, I have talked about this even in the combine the amount of hate that Caleb Williams has gotten for like off the field stuff or decisions not to do medical things, like except for teams that are interested or to like work out when again, he did a pro day, but two, the bears told him they're going to draft him. And obviously he's going number one. My question is, is this guy actually getting this much hate for this kind of crap? Cause this is asinine to me. This is so ridiculously over the top because he likes pink or he does this kind of crap. But I'm asking you, is this even a story or is this something from Dov to just like rile up engagement? Yeah, well, to be fair to Dov, uh, he's not the only one trying to rile up the engagement, right? A hundred percent. If you're on Twitter now, literally it's just yeah. engagement BS. Yeah. It's, it's, I think ultimately for Caleb, it's probably a good thing. Because people are pointing to criticize shit that doesn't matter, right? A hundred percent. Like if I were an athlete and there's like this dumb stuff that doesn't matter. Yeah. Let people, <laughs> oh, my fingernails are painted. I wore a, a weird, yeah. some weird clothes. Sure. Like Dennis Rodman always 
all like somebody yeah. posted Rodman in a, a wedding dress and Ricky Williams in a wedding dress. Yep. I was like, what are we talking about? Let him criticize you for that right now because people aren't focusing on any possible actual flaws in your game, right? Yeah. But when you're the first overall pick, it's going to happen. Last year with with CJ Stroud, it was the 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 test that he didn't do oh well. Oh my god, yeah, right? the test. So go, no, is he dumb? Is, yeah, is, is CJ Stroud, Stroud too Stroud dumb, dumb to be quarterback? Yeah. It's like let me it, it, I would rather be be called dumb or oh no, is my is my quarterback a woman? Oh god, is he a woman? Like whatever. Focus on those things. Um and, and as long as it's not like, oh, he throws the ball terribly. But this is the kind of crap, and I talked about this last year, even with the CJ Stroud stuff, but it's more on Caleb because I'm I'm legitimately asking if that is that just Twitter where Twitter is now just full of yeah, nonsense just, engagement and race wars. Like, is that what that is? People because, gotta find a way to tear somebody down, right? Sure. I get that because that's the crappy machine that we're in right now. Yeah. Because I saw it at the combine. But I saw it at the combine coming from professionals. It wasn't about, you know, lip gloss or nails, but it was just about like garbage so my question is like when we're in this cycle of tearing down and raising up prospects and players is there actual because dude like we saw this and dealt with this on this show how many times did we see people go oh did you see that caleb williams wants equity and whatever team is going to draft him which was a garbage story like it didn't happen yeah. But like that, it just seems like there's stuff that tar is targeted at Caleb Williams that started last year and is really amped up. And I just like, dude, yeah. it is, it's gotten to a point where like, damn, this is toxic shit. Like it's this weird. is really toxic. And it's, it's going to happen when a guy is projected to be like the number one overall pick for that long. Right. And a guy who, who wants to, to be, let's just like, if you want to be, a unique individual and people are saying you are the next first sure. overall pick you're going to you're going to get torn you're to like, shreds you fit in this box like exactly 100%. so you can you can you can be yourself you can be in the box right like let's say arch manning in to like let's say once he starts playing he's the projected guy he's going to be incredibly boxed he's not going to say any any shit to cause any sort of controversy, okay? Mm. Because like Peyton, Eli, they've all been through it. They know how they know the machine. And right now, like what Caleb Williams is is getting on, like with Shadour Sanders in Colorado right now, it's it's a very different approach. Uh, his dad, Deion Sanders, brings a lot of attention. And now you have like Shadour Sanders talking about like the challenges of, of playing, pitching himself yeah. as an underdog a little bit. And people are like, what the fuck are you yeah, talking are you about? Underdog. underdog. <laughs> sure. Like it doesn't matter what you say. If, if you put yourself out there and you're a top prospect, people are going to go at you. Yeah. Also part of that in sports where it gets weird is like Caleb's going to the bears. We yes. 99% sure he's going to the bears. And when you know, a guy is going to a team, you get the opposition of that team ready to go at you right mm -hmm. it's like oh packers fans can go at him vikings fans can go at him lions fans can go at him bears fans divided about justin fields and Caleb williams can go at him it's it's tough with sports because people feel like they have the right to talk shit to you online <laughs> based yeah. on the fact that they root against your team and sometimes sure. people will say stuff where they think it's it's funny or fun. Like it happens in comments on in our videos, right? Yeah. So many will say something like, "Man, that's fucked up." They think they're being funny. They don't realize like what they're saying doesn't come off as a joke or as as humorous as well. I think it's here's the problem, dude. And like this, is, wow, we're getting into a whole thing. Also, not not all personal fouls. They can review stuff that's like clearly intentional grounding if the clock expired for. Um, like the play clock for a delay of game, but not all reviews. No, not yeah. all personal fouls. Yeah. The the only other things I saw was they can incorrect intentional grounding and roughing the passer and then ruling of a passer down by contact or out of bounds. Those are reviewable too. That's what I saw. Um, But like, that's, wow, we're going to get into like, that could be a rabbit hole. That's the state of comedy, right? And this is just like former stand-up comic, whatever, whatever, whatever. I think that you can tell 
like dark jokes are still fine in my book. Like, so you still dark jokes. Yeah. The Thank issue you. I think is whenever you do that, there's somebody who's serious. And I think like, especially with how like Twitter's evolved and stuff like that, there needs to be an understanding of like, hey, no, like I actually am not like a hateful garbage person. It's just, this is like a joke, right? And I'm not punching sure. down at anybody, right? Cause that's just the like number one rule of comedy. You don't punch down. And when people say like a joke and you're like, oh, that's messed up. There's people that are like, oh no, that's not a joke. Like that <laughs> is what I believe. And you're like, oh, I don't want that. <laughs> like I don't want to be associated with that. Yeah. So yeah, I agree. And I think it's what I'm talking about. Cause you mentioned like, if you're the number one guy, maybe this is just me not remembering. I don't think Trevor Lawrence got this kind of stuff. Yeah. And he has long hair. And he has long hair. How dare he have long hair? So like, I'm just looking at it of like, damn, like this kid's getting hated on for like every little thing. But I wanted to clarify with you, is this just like a Twitter thing? Is yeah, this of I like think so. Okay, got it. It's, you yeah, know, it's it, it feels loud because usually the loudest voices get the most attention on Twitter. Sure. Um, if Caleb Williams is bad as a rookie, it's going to be brutal. Like, <laughs> it's going to be terrible. The criticism will be so unfair if he is bad as a rookie. And you should expect him to not be great. Like, you, the expectations for all the quarterbacks should be probably going to be ugly. No. Bismarck Packers. No. Do it. Stop it. Do no it. Bismarck Packers. No. No. That anyway. said, I don't think any man should have a pink phone, Tom. What about Ken? What was Ken's song? I'm just Ken. It should be purple. Purple is a better feminine color than pink. It's also the color of royalty. Purple... Well, here's the issue. I think purple is objectively a better color than mm. pink. However, the Minnesota Vikings have ruined the color purple for me. Oh. So it's like a, and all, I mean, there is an irony in there because purple is supposed to be like royalty and then you have the Vikings. So obviously not that, right? So it's a challenge. Yeah. It's a challenge every day. Every day. I mean, yeah, it's, I think like the, the best comp for Caleb Williams is probably like, cam newton right mm -hmm. second half of his career he just started to dress more uniquely yeah, over time. Absolutely. i mean god yeah <laughs> and if, if he played well if, if cam newton played well and he dressed weird people were like damn dude's got swag That's if cool. he sucked they're like look at that look at that idiot why is he dressed so stupid 100 but like if, you, if you're good and you do it, people love it. If you, if, if Caleb bad, Williams goes out and throws like for 4,000 yards, his first season, yeah. like is the first Bears QB to do that. Hold You'll see yards. Russell Wilson painting his nails next season. Dude, if, I, if it worked for Caleb, like, let me try some of this. I want Russell Wilson to just like do such a heel turn so badly, yeah. so badly. And just like turn on it and just really just start talking crap about the Broncos and yeah. Sean Payton, especially. Dude. Yeah, Al, it, dude. I think Williams is better than May. In, in my Russ, view, I think he's better. What'd you say? Sorry. I said angry Russ is something I've been dreaming about. Dreaming about, which is not going to happen. It's funny, though. Like, there was the, the video of like Russ it, yeah. lifting the weights with his sunglasses on. Mm -hmm. And hey. hold on. Let me see if I can just find it real quick. It's a great question. Uh, question for Perna here. Since it's the off season, when are you going to start watching the sagas? When also, I am by the tea. dead. When you're dead? No, I it's got to be. So dead. I got to watch the heiress to her first, okay? <laughs> I forgot All right, here we go. That. This is perfect. This is perfect. Wait, you haven't done it yet? Jess hasn't watched it? Because I thought Jess was excited for it. <clears throat> she's been sick for like two weeks. Oh, so, so she's no been... heiress tour when she's sick? Yeah. So we're not watching. We haven't watched anything. That's not good. All right, here we go. She's finally getting better. Broncos right. to Arkansas. Here we go. Arkansas Broncos. This one. Also, why is your team so damn boring with their jersey designs, Brandon? Well, we got to see them. Well, I, let's all get right. into that real quick. But first, all right, Russell Wilson. Inside wearing sunglasses. Yeah, but watch this. All right, so you got Dov. You just cited Dov here. Yep, exactly. Bait, bait. Putting in the work for next season in style. Mm -hmm. My first thought was... Never. Stephon, never. My first thought was, anytime Russ posted a workout video for the Broncos, he just got crucified. 
Sure. Immediately. Didn't matter what he was doing. They're like, look at that idiot. I was like, okay, well, oh, I'm glad there's going. some positive takes here for Russ with the Steelers. Just a man trying to work out. And then, yeah, the sunglass takes started started popping. I was like, okay, so it, it's still the same. It's still there. Yeah. Let's go to the Denver Broncos. Let's see if they have the the T T still. Go beer snake, Xavier. Go beer snake. Perno, are you rooting for a specific team for the UFL? Um, hmm. I do like the beer snake. I do like the uh, defenders. It's going to be kind of hard to not St. root Louis. for the Battle Hawks. Yeah, like St. Louis, just their fan support makes them fun. And they should have All an right. NFL team. So yeah, Broncos tease new uniforms, which we have been Don't begging do for. Don't All you right? do this to me. That they spoke about it too. So like this came out, and people are like, "Oh, if if I'm not, let me see if I got this right." The issue is with the current logo. If you're utilizing them with like different jerseys right isn't that my my kind of on it yeah yeah so they they basically said the logo staying the same which yeah. is a fucking huge miss right out the gate again i will i will hold off judgment until i see them i don't know what they look like cool, cool. maybe they make maybe they make this thing look cooler i don't i don't i'm what people forget is when the broncos first launched these uniforms people hated them Luckily, they won a Super Bowl that year, so they're like, oh, okay. I guess they're fine. <laughs> okay. Well, when they first came out, they were not well-received. And the biggest problem is like, okay, this just looks like such a dated logo now. It's fine. It's not like a bad logo. It's not a good logo. They could I make the old... mind it. It's okay. Well, that's what I... It's completely indifferent. Like, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> you want people to be like, oh, that logo is sick. You want fans of other teams like to want to purchase logo. your logo. Like, you want it to be that cool. I that's say, what we're worried about. That's fair. Because, like, there are some teams that do merch so well. Right. Like, so disgust. Like, I will say, the Eagles, like, especially their throwback stuff and their Kelly right. Green, like, the old school logos, great. Buccaneers, same exact thing. And the Broncos, the thing that's front, they have it right there. Like, they have... They could just go right into the past and be like, boop, and people yeah. will buy the crap out of them. So we'll see. It's like uh, they're adjusting the color scheme or something a little bit. There's a, a a uniform redesign. And they did. They polled fans. They asked fans. Um, but I have a hard time imagining that uh, the fans did not – Voice how much we wanted the old logo, an updated version of the old logo back. Oh, damn it. I'm now, trying to my find... question is, are these just a one-off or are these like the new jerseys? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Because that's gotten a little confusing. Because like I know the Lions, like they're debuting like new ones again too. The Texans, like they're doing yeah. theirs. So I just like, because now we've gotten to a point where it's like, okay, well, we have these jerseys for, you know, Thursday night games, the color rush. This is, okay. So I just wanted to say, Titans for the South. I mean, I think they're going to have a rough time. I think depending on how Will Levis is going to be, uh, Calvin Ridley will kind of see how that works out. But I do like the defense. The defense should be good. Um, I would see how good Anthony Richardson is, like, you know, how they'll go against the Colts. But I think it's going to be tough. I wouldn't be surprised if they finish last. But I also wouldn't be surprised if they win like seven, eight games. God. Why can't I find them now? That's about it. It's That's like I it. see these uniforms on my feed every day. As and now, written. of course, I of course. can't find. Oh, here they are. Just so dumb. This is what we want. It's it's right there. It is just right here for us. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Those orange ones are so dope, too. This, this is it. Like, this is all they have to do. Yeah. That's all we have to do. It's perfect. It's perfect. Good enough for Superman. I'm not going to lie. Like, yeah, those orange ones would be super dope. I, I also love that old logo. Yeah. Like, that logo is great. Even though, you know what? I will say, even the away jerseys look pretty good. Why don't they just do this? That's exactly what we want. Brandon, why are you not? Do you want me to make a phone call? Why yeah. Why aren't you tagging? The who would you tag for thirty and thirty? Was it the president of GM? Yeah, Leach. Just do, just do it again. He's the guy who came out and said uh, we are not going with the old logo. That's very disappointing. Damian Leach, right? Do they just not like money? 
I don't know. I mean, if they like money, then maybe we're getting new jerseys and then we'll get a new logo in a year or two or whatever. Mm. But yeah, I think this is it. I think just do that and everybody be like sick, mm. tight. Basically, like, all right, you know, we're there's a lot of people who aren't <laughs> Raiders fans, right? Who want a Raiders hat, right? Logos, sure. cool. Like you want, basically you want people who are in pop culture to wear your shit because it's so cool. That's yeah. all it comes down to. So, yeah. And Perna just said that too. Yeah, like Chicago? Yeah, Dennis Rodman. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Dude, if Caleb Williams is like... Play football. Is rookie of the year next That's year. He gets the Bears to the playoffs. The uh, Bears should change their logo. It should be the C with his hand holding a pink phone coming out of the C. And the C stands for Caleb. Yeah. The, <laughs> or the Caleb pink phones. That That's the Caleb pink phones. Yeah. Or the Caleb like pink phones. CPP. Uh-oh. Can't do what? Caleb. Can't do Caleb pink phones because if you abbreviate that it's cpp it's even better cpp would you like to see my pp it's icup it's i cup i see all over again i got burned say i then spell cup it's rough it's rough say let us then spell cup remember those when you were six and i got burnt by that once in elementary school and i was like devastated i was yeah you all i'm I'm never coming back from yeah. this, like ever. You're like ever. in kindergarten or first grade, and it's like a third grader on the bus gets you. It's again, it's freaking, it's Twitter, and like there, it there has never been more of a time in world in this world where it's Twitter is Twitter, and Twitter is not necessarily a reflection of real life. Yeah, but yeah, it's uh, it's a time, it's a time. But yeah, Caleb. Keep on rocking. Damani Leach. That's I hope he gets traded eventually Damani. away from the Bears and does very, very well. Yeah. Very, very well. So, well, that, but that's what happens in the draft cycle. Like, this is what happens because the news starts slowing down. Like, things start drying up yeah. and people are like, well, how can we get people to click on some articles? <laughs> They're like, here we go. Bam. So, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. that's the draft cycle, baby. Because, like, dude, Stroud went through it and now... They're removing, right, the necessity for that test. Yeah, like this test was clearly wrong. Yeah, it uh, obviously didn't work out. The the Texans were like, actually, can we give more guys this test? Houston's yes, like, which other working. guys can fall to us? Um, That's true. That's true. Yeah, and like I got annoyed by somebody who, uh, when the, um, I think it was the hip drop tackle. Yeah. Like I quote tweeted it. It was like, saying something again, like I didn't like it. Mm. And somebody accused me of like fishing for engagement. I was like, no, I legit don't like this rule. Like the one luxury you and I have is we can say exactly what we're thinking. Oh dude, it's great. Like, I don't like, yes, you want to draw attention if you're trying to convince people to watch you. Oh, on but Twitter, was, I don't give a crap, dude. Like, uh, no. No. And it, like I said, like, but like there goes tackling or something. I was like, dude, mm -hmm. I legit think trying to ban the hip drop is stupid. Yes, uh, because I think it's short-sighted. Execute a yeah. clickbait, clickbait over here. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think the problem is too. We especially on that particular site, that is the vast majority of it now. It's like just getting engagement, just farming engagement. Yeah, I get there's a lot and of that. like. You and I have been on Twitter for a very long time, right? You were on Twitter before I was. And I go on Twitter and like you look through a game stream, like when a Packers game is play, and it's just me in all caps reacting of like, ah, send yeah. tweet. Oh man, send tweet. Like that's what that is because I still use Twitter for that, right? Yeah. But there are people, if they're not as familiar or what have you, or just know you from Twitter, they'll be like, oh, maybe he's potentially engaging for him. You're like, no, no, no. Like, I have rationale and evidence behind this of why I feel this way. Yeah, it's, it's like an instant reaction. To just say how you feel it about might be done. sports yeah. shit. Was it UFL start this week? Yeah, kicks off uh, Saturday and Sunday, baby. Look at that. Okay. Really wish The Rock would give me a retweet. He's been gearing up for WrestleMania. Did you not see him on Monday? I'm about to... Cody Rhodes couldn't do shit against The Rock. 
Come get me, Rock. You want a real challenge? Cody Rhodes, here. Brandon Perna, here. Come fight a man, Dwayne. Come fight a man and then retweet my uh, UFL video. We've done it. Ladies and gentlemen. I saw I saw Cody Rhodes get beat up. I saw Cody Rhodes get beat up. Enough about wrestling that it has now entered into Brandon Perna's mind. He just cut a promo on the rock. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen. You know what I would use to beat the rock with in a wrestling match, Tom? Uh, You tell me, buddy. You tell me. I would use a rock. How do you beat the rock? You get a rock. Um. Done. So, Done, Dwayne. Well, it depends on the type of Look match, Look how fast and furiously you fell to the floor, Dwayne! It, it would depend. Jumanji! Jumanji? I would use all of his movies against him. Oh. Kevin Hart! Every one of my moves would be, be named after things that he was involved mm. with. And I'd be the only man. I would lose every other wrestling match, but anytime I face The Rock, I'm victorious. That would be my thing. It's kind of like the rock and stone cold steve austin is that how it happened yeah couldn't beat him for a while stone cold wound up turning right and joined vince mcmahon so the thing is using a rock besides assault um that would have it had to be a no they disqual- use chairs they use tables so if you let me speak it would have to be a no disqualification match right like extreme yeah, rules sure. you know something Obviously. like that okay all right so you'd have to agree to that um and then you you would hit him with a rock I think he might break you, Brandon. Not if I get that rock to his face first. I mean, again, that's this is salt. It might be a two hit. It might be like a, I might have mm. two rocks. Low to the nuts, backhand across the head with the rock. Could you reach his face? I don't know. <laughs> How tall? And then is him? when I was victorious, I would blow a conch. That would be my victory. I'd have a conch shell. Conch? Conk. You can call it conch, you can call it a conk. I think the correct so, is conk. Uh the rock is six four. Oh yeah, I can reach his face. I can touch a rim. I can get to his I face. I can touch a rim. I might have to jump. <laughs> you have to jump to hit the rock. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> okay. I do you know how happy I am on the inside that you just cut a promo on the rock? Do you know how much like joy that fills me with? It's great. I'm going to Raw on Monday. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. And the Rock is gonna be there. I'll be I'll be there. I can tell him. Tell him there's a man who's ready to challenge him in the ring. But don't give away my secret on how I'm gonna beat him. No, I would never do that. So do you want me to give him your info and just be like, hey, when you're ready? (laughs) It just says call Brandon Perna for a good time. I think that works. Yes. Yes. The cool thing is every time I fight him, I beat him with a different type of rock. Ooh, I this like time that. it's sedimentary. <laughs> Metamorphic. Ooh, we got a geo, bitch. <laughs> Last thing you see is a side of beauty before I take you down. Maybe I do like wrestling. I've been telling you for years, I think you would enjoy Here's it. the difference, right? Wrestling to me. I don't watch, but I could see myself watching. Mm -hmm. Pokemon, fuck it. Never. Not in this life. You know those are two completely different things, though. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, wrestling, I can can give credit. I can see why people get interested in it. It, Pokemon, nope. Pokemon is my pink phone. (laughs) What? (laughs) I'll never understand it, and I'm going to criticize it, even though there's no reason to. I Quiet. am the loud voices against the pink phone, is what I'm saying. Two Pokemon. Hmm. Uh, Wyatt wants to know if uh, 32 team curse wheel. You made a 32 team curse wheel, Wyatt? You interested? I love it. That'd be dope. If you make it, show it to us. And if it doesn't suck, then yes, you can send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> There's some janky ass thing that's gonna fall apart in shipping. I don't want it. He says, as his curse wheel is held together with tape and dreams. Hey man, I've learned. You're like, I, I, I've I don't want to. I don't want horizontal movement. I want, I want vertical. If you build um, it, 
I will come. I knew that's where it's going. Can Field I just dreams? Can I also just uh, call back? I love that your finishing line was "Here's a geode, bitch." That's right. That put it on a shirt. That's, I'm basically uh, like uh, I'm Jesse Pinkman fighting the rock. <laughs> science. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Uh, I know there's been a lot of like it's gonna be flag football, two hand touch. Now I really am just. Let's see how they enforce this. Yeah. Because I think there's also a world where this doesn't get called very often. Because well, e even in the clip that they gave, which, listen, do I have any evidence to support this? No. I'm just praying this goes the right way and doesn't ruin things. Because even in the clip, I don't know if it was like the Pollard tackle or what have you, there was one I was like, how... I don't even know how that is yeah. what they're talking about. It looked like it wasn't even like consistent in what they would call that flag, which gives me all the concern. Yeah. So I'm hoping because of what has been said that they need like three things that need to be obvious. I'm hoping that it's something that it's like, hey, don't do this anymore. Maybe they call it like once or twice a season. But I'm, yeah. I'm hoping that's the way it goes. If it's really if it's a couple times a year, like fine, whatever. But Oh. Um, hmm. that was a big oh. point I made in the episode. I'm like, you and I can both look at the same play and you could walk away saying, oh yeah, I understand that's a hip drop. And I'm like, that in no way is a hip drop. And that's a problem, right? Mm -hmm. Like if we can't even agree what it is, how are they going to officiate it? And one of the big examples they used that I, I used in there was the, the Logan Wilson, uh, tackle on Mark Andrews. Yeah. And I watched it so many times and I don't think it's it, it. The way it ends is Wilson falling on the back of Mark Andrews leg, but he slides in and Wilson's leg is on the ground. And Mar the way Mark Andrews falls, it's just unfortunate. And they talk about unweighting your body like his legs on the ground. How does he unweight his body if he's already like sliding on the ground to tackle one of the best tight ends in the league? Maybe that's the unweighting though. It's just like, hey, like, like I'm going dead weight. I, dude, I don't know. Like, but yeah, that, but like, he slides in on his I, leg. No, I get it. I'm not so arguing with you. I'm well, like, it's that's what I'm saying. Like, you can make an argument either way. Now, I saw Brandon Bean on McAfee's show, and he was saying that his understanding was they're not going to call it that much. Yeah, that's that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. And then Roger, but what Roger Goodell says, when you listen to him, it's like, no, we are going to get this out of the game. We'll wait and see. So Goodell's voicing the owners. And if you want to go and point an owner to making dumb rules, it's Mara. Every year, he is like the face of true. the dumbest rules implemented in the NFL. I don't know what he's doing every year. I, and, and my thought is like, I think Shannon Sharp said something like he doesn't ever remember being tackled like this in the league. Yeah. We because we didn't talk about this. This wasn't like a thing. Mm -hmm. Guys might have gotten tackled this way every now and then, and it still doesn't happen that often. <laughs> it's just a tackle that went bad. That's what it used to be. And then at some point they started telling us it was a hip drop tackle. And then we said we got to ban it. Well, you also have players who are coming out and being like, we're not taught this. Like, no one teaches yeah, yeah. the hip drop tackle. We're trying to stop a 250-pound man who's running 20 miles an hour. Yeah. And sometimes, like, what if you go in and you're on the hip and the reason you fall back behind him is because the runner you're trying to tackle is too strong to go down easily? But that's, like, also, like, how are... That, that was a common question of, like, how are players supposed to, like, tackle when, like, coming from... <clears throat> There's no way to say this without it being phrasing from behind. Right. Or like trying to catch up, like where are you supposed to grab? Like it's, it's difficult. You know, like yeah, you're, that, you're trying to it's been a lot adjust the middle of the, the body. I think they should bring in dick punches. You want to drop a big man. You should be able to punch him in the dick. Like Christian Wilkins to uh, Josh. Bam! Allen. No harm, no foul. They're not, yeah. you're not going to break any bones probably. I mean, no, but Al, do, so do you think that's how the players, they revolt against this hip drop tackle? They're like, we're just going to start hitting people in the nuts. So you make a rule about that. <laughs> and then we're just going to hip drop tackle everybody. Yeah. So it's one or the other. Do you want nut shots or you want hip drop tackles? Which yeah. one? Which one? Which one do you that's want? Good. Blow people's minds. Blow people's minds.
good 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 well, i want them to come out as just, both or just let people be who people are that's it that yeah. works too that works too you know or or just criticize a person based off of their job you know in the football play you know there's there's that option yeah. too the that- nfl needs an openly gay quarterback but he has to mm. be a top five qb mm. you know representation baby Maybe you just become a top five QB and then tell everybody you're gay. So lie? No, you know, maybe you're just, maybe you're not all the way gay. Tom. Listen, it's fluid, baby. It's fluid. <laughs> it's NFL needs fluid. a gay this top five quarterback. This is the most off-season GPS. <laughs> it's like, we're going to talk about the state of comedy. We're going to talk about the state of social media and more. Tune in for a brief word for our sponsors. That's it. Eccentric as you want. When you're the best, that's true. That's it. Or you can just do whatever you want. Yeah. That's fine too. Like I will never care. Like that will never be a. Oh man, what is the player dressing? I don't care. I don't care. It's never been an issue. Just you play. I think most people good. don't care. There's just like a very loud so group of people who I seem agree. to care, I and agree. it feels like more people care. And it's just like it's just hateful and dumb. It's just be yeah. like stop being dumb. That's it. Just don't be dumb. That's it. Yeah. Meanwhile, we got uh, Deshaun Watson starting for the Browns without <laughs> issue. Well, I mean, there was definitely some blowback from that, but um, see, oh, Cardinals, Falcons, Falcons. I like a lot of their unis. I didn't like what they were doing where it like kind of bleeds into the pants. That looked weird. Yeah, that one. Yeah, it, the Broncos don't have the worst uniforms, mm-hmm. but when you have a chance to make Amen. them better and upgrade Amen, them, Elliot. you just got to hit. You got to hit. Mm-hmm. And again, we haven't seen them yet. So maybe they maybe they make them cool. Yeah. But I think like... Y2K. <laughs> pretty it accurate. is. That's pretty it's accurate. Like all of those, like the Ravens uh, logo. the I like the Ravens logo. The, yeah, it was like all this... Like, I do think design. the Ravens could have a cooler logo, though. Yeah. I think they could definitely have a much more badass logo. Should just be Edgar Allan Poe's face. You know what I mean? Um, and I his his eyeballs are little ravens. Okay. okay. I saw like a little pieces that he posted about that video that one of the officials like was a Saints fan. Yeah. Like that doesn't seem good. Well, that's the issue I'll tell you too. what game that guy wasn't officiating. <laughs> yeah. So, no, he officiated a Saints game. Yeah, but not the Saints Rams playoff game. No, 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 no. It was against the Bucks. Um, yeah, I mean, here's the issue, right? You can't have a fan of a team officiate for that team. You just can't do that. Now, at the same time, I think it's also almost impossible because at some point they got into football. It's a part-time job. Yeah. They got into football. They're going to be a fan of some organization. It depends on how much they flaunt that. So it might already happen. Yeah. Right. Now this one is just a little bit more obvious. I could, ob- I could objectively officiate sure. Broncos games unless they were playing the chiefs. I'd call it fairly. Unless it was those dirty lying, thieving, cheating, murdering chiefs yeah you heard me right okay so you've forgiven the ravens or the the chiefs will always see you talk about the chiefs like i talk about the vikings and you hate the vikings now too so this is yeah put the chiefs and the vikings in a jail cell together and just let them kill each other i think just remove you know what we have 31 we have 30 teams right 15 each just get rid of the chiefs and get rid of the vikings and I don't even mind the Chiefs. Denzo. They don't even bother me. But if that's yeah. the compromise to get the Vikings out of the league, you have no idea how many teams out. I will sacrifice any team besides the Packers to get the Vikings out of the league completely. Like they don't play football anymore. Yeah. That's where that and that's where and that's why football is a beautiful sport. Yeah. Because that's where the hatred should be. That's right. The purple incarnation of Satan. So for example, for example, on Friday night QA. Uh, we had a comparison because we were talking about Woodrow Wilson, as we usually do, and how much I hate Woodrow Wilson because Woodrow Whoa. Wilson is garbage. Interesting. Wood- Woodrow Wilson's garbage. And so somebody said that the Vikings are the equivalent of Woodrow Wilson. And I said that that's Ooh. not right. That's not right. No, like that's a little bit too far because Woodrow Wilson was married twice. So he had two rings and the Vikings have zero. So no, they, you can't compare either of them. 
Both mm. awful. Yes, but mm. yeah. Woodrow. Robin, baby. Yeah, the, watching that, I know it's a lot of like Michael Jordan propaganda, but I remember watching The Last Dance and being like, oh yeah, like we just didn't know where Den Dennis Rodman was. Like that was yeah. like wild. They're like, but he was really good. So like when he showed up, he played. Where in the world is Dennis Rodman? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Ooh, a compilation of playoff losses for the Cowboys. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, I think. Nice. In addition to, I know this is like peak off season and we're running. Oh, do we talk about everything? Yeah. Oh, Cordell Patterson side with the Steelers. I'm curious if they let him run back kicks, I'd be super excited for that. I'll be super duper excited. for Well, that. yeah, that's why they signed him. Ooh. They apparently they waited like until nice. waited to see if the rule would change. And then they signed him. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a good signing. And I think like that's the one thing I wanted to say about the kickoff rule. Like there are people who are opposed to it because they think this is going to get rid of the kickoff completely. And I think the opposite of that is is true. What? Look down your shirt and spell attic. Yeah, you did you just did it in your head. I saw you do it in your head and you're like, oh. I get it. Oops. Yeah. Continue. I think this is gonna save the kickoff. I um, do too. There assuming weird backlash to it. There's one flaw. They 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 kept the kicker kicking where the kicker currently kicks. That I agree. Yeah. You and they to I move think it back. They needed to move the kicker back because they did that in the spring leagues. True. Very so true. that because here's the 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 issue they might run into. Kickoffs are relevant. Teams are getting good returns. So what's going to stop the kicking team from just booting it out of the end zone and letting the team start at the 30? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's not a big enough consequence to just continue to have touchbacks. If you're fearing, oh, God, they're going to get to the 35 or they're going to get to the 40 if we kick it to them. And the other thing that happens is there's not as many massive there's not, not as many touchdowns returned as you would think. Uh, the, the line of defense still holds fairly well. Um, but I think it's a good thing and we've talked about it a lot, but yeah, no, I think if anything, it, it is more complicated, a hundred percent. It is more complicated. There is going to be a getting used to period. <laughs> Dude, every XFL game started with like them explaining how the kickoff yeah. was different. I'm yeah. like, it's week eight guys. We don't need to hear this again. Yeah. You see it enough times. You'll be fine. Um, someone said that, I think, did you retweet that? It was like, some poor guy has to code this in Madden now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it, it was the guy raising his hand saying, that is me. <laughs> That's rough. Is is that true? He's the, oh, the, Tepper's the owner of the, that owns that company? Which company? The one that administers that test. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's it. Wow, that would, that seems like a huge conflict of interest if that's true. But Here's a test I made, now take it. Yeah, now take it, and we're going to do that. Oh, my God. Our truth and Perna interacting would be incredible. It would be top-notch TV. I also, we need to get Perna to go to an AEW show because Eddie Kingston is a fan of Brandon Perna. And let's Greatest just see the magic. Of all let's time, see Eddie Kingston. Brandon fall in love with wrestling. Some guys were Hulk Hogan guys. I was always an Eddie Kingston man. Mm -hmm. That's it. Listen, he just doesn't like those things. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, I take out the rock and stone cold with two rocks. Ha <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I bring down the rock in stone with pebbles, Tom. With pebbles. Two bags of pebble. Easy. What a great story. Rock just... and stone dropped by pebbles. Ha <laughs> ha. Not related to the Flintstones. Are you dressed as Pebbles when you're doing it? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Are there yeah, any other rock-related names for wrestlers? Rock, Stone. <laughs> this... hmm. I'll be Shale. I'll bring him down with this, a soft rock like Shale. It'll be even more embarrassing for them. Like... And then my finishing move, I'll pull the lag tights off the ceiling. And then stab them through the chests. You're in an arena. Where are there stalactites? We fight in a cave. No, my <laughs> fucking matches are in match. caves. 
You mean, do you mean cage match? No, I mean we're fighting in a cave. Stalactites are on the ceiling because they hold on tight. Stalagmites are on the floor because you might ground. trip over them, right? There you go, buddy. There you go. Oh, he's going to 3D print the wheel and everything with the I remember. Logo. That'd be dope. That'd be dope. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got to get the... Well, we got to wait for Rachel to get the new logos. Mm. Then we use those. <clears throat> hey, look at that. You converted this Chargers fan. <laughs> There's a lot of love, right? Mm. That's a monkey. Don't like those things. Don't like it. That's there it. There we go. That's it. I am Good. playing Mortal Kombat instead of wrestling. That's 100% true. It's true, Paul. It's I true. have to. We have to finish them to the death, correct? That's how wrestling works. Well, Brandon, if you want, how are you? I with, mean, when you think about it, it is. How are you with gore? As a, uh, not good. All right, so I'm not going to show you a Texas death. Oh, no, I was thinking Goro. (laughs) The four-armed guy for Mortal Kombat. Yeah, because I just said Mortal Kombat, and you said Goro. I was thinking Goro. I'm fine with Gore. Okay, so, like, if you want to see legitimately one of the most brutal, like, mainstream matches I've ever seen, you can look at a Texas death match. It was... Mm. People drank... They drank blood. Oh, yeah, it was... It was nuts. See, I don't know. I don't, there's a couple matches I would show you to get into wrestling. Okay. Okay. No, they're not going to Hershey, Pennsylvania. No. They would smell like chocolate all the time. They're cheese. Mm. They're cheese. I like my pebbles bringing them down. It's a good storyline. Mm. Stand, stand by it. Oh. It does. T- drying a comforter, d- dry cleaning a comforter takes a while. It does. Oh, dry dry a cleaning. Dry cleaning takes a while. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to also get through supers. So, oh yeah, hey, we on. got a little wild. Yeah, that's it. I've seen bits and pieces of Blue Mountain State. That seems like a show uh, I watched. I've never watched it. Will keep wrong. telling me to watch through it. I was wrong. I was wrong. <clears throat> there you go. There you go. Yeah, I mean, listen, there's people still out there. People still out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chargers jerseys have they have one of the best. I love their jerseys. Yeah, Chargers. Chargers solid. have great jerseys. They do. They but they've had that for a while. Like they constantly have really good jerseys. Like yeah, games. but I mean, they, so they but bad. they upgraded. They made them better. They went back to like the so classics and tweaked them a bit. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Seahawks yes. throwbacks are perfect. Yes, but their lime is awful. Yeah, I hate them. I oh, it's your affiliate anniversary on Twitch. Jory's oh, me. hello Twitch! All eight of you watching there. Eight. That might be I six. No, it's actually eight. <laughs> It is an eight. It's legit eight. Nice. Hell yeah. Hey. They they can use an upgrade. They can use an upgrade. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Also, I yeah, had the could. boomer take real quick before we skedaddle out of here. Oh, Chiefs Viking Super Bowl. Who do we root for? Oh, I'm rooting for the three Pete. Oh, I'm rooting for the three Pete. Someone I- accused me of having a millennial take. And even though it was a dig on Twitter, I was like, thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> You're just like, I it was a the rumor calling me a millennial, and I'm like, I'm back, baby. Intentional penalties. Well, yeah, I think they'll try to like have it roll into the back of the end zone. But that's the thing too. If you have a good kick returner, that's why like the Steelers signing Patterson and the Packers already yeah. having Nixon, and they re-signed him. That's a legitimate weapon. And Marvin because, Mims like, for the Broncos. Like Marvin I'm excited. Mims, there you go. Because, like that's the thing. Kickoffs mm. could be relevant again. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Fine. All right. What were you going right. to say? You had a boomer take? I did because I didn't mind the new draft hats, but I was like, how the hell have we gotten to this as a, a society that like a hat's $46? <laughs> like, bro, and that's without tax. Like, that mm. is a hat, man. Like, I remember back in my day, like, I got it. They like edged up to like 30 and yeah. stuff like that. And I was like, all right, if it's a really nice hat, I could justify it. It was like $50 for a hat, man. Hey, man. I have biting no desire kneecaps. to purchase anything. Biting kneecaps in a hoodie. NFL related. You ever going to make that, Brandon? Probably not. I think that's past his prime. Mm. Mm. Bonk. 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 Mm. Mm. Mr. Genesis guy. What is that? What is that? See you tonight, mm. Max. That sounded ominous. We got our Patreon tonight. Jordan Trap. Oh, I had that last night. Jordan We're Travis. always right on on schedule. Jordan Travis. Jordan Travis. Turn Purnatory. It's true. Go watch the East Saga. So yes. Is Jordan the- Travis the dude who broke his leg? I think so. The 
AFC East and NFC East saga. That's where Wildflower came from. So Wildflower yeah. Turquoise when they were the Washington football team. Jordan Travis, like if you if you I want do. a good example of I the do. of how bad the hip drop tackle can be, it's the Jordan Travis leg break from last year. Yes. So I get it. Kenny Omega would come out and absolutely destroy Brandon Perna. But I'd watch it. I would watch it. What if I'm the first wrestler who incorporates guns into his... You wouldn't be the first. There's actually an amazing wrestling clip of a guy. There's like, there's an old like Pillman like pulling a gun. But yeah, like there is, I think it was, it wasn't New Japan. It might've been, but uh, it was overseas. And a guy like pulled out a prop gun and like basically like they were like, whoa. And he just pointed at different wrestlers and they all put their hands up. But then he pointed to the audience and they all put their hands up. It was amazing. Like that's Ooh. peak wrestling. It's peak wrestling. What do you got coming out? Today, today, probably shorter too. And then tomorrow we got uh, a video about the 2022, 2021 quarterback drafts, how they've okay. all been busts and how bad they are. So, nice. um, and don't bust. forget, Jess's new tea launched over at benchwarmerbrew.com. There you go. Strawberry hey. lemon, caffeine free. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. What do you um, got, Tom? Also, uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to put out a video today. I actually have a really uh, exciting interview at 3 o'clock today. I'm, like, really pumped for it. So this is, like, old school. This is for, like, OG OGs. So years ago, when Aaron Rodgers broke his collarbone, when Anthony Barr broke it, yeah, we raised $3,000. Uh, this was like, this is probably pre-100,000 subs, like all this stuff. I think I wound up paying like 1,600 of the 3,000. We spent $3,000 for a local like Minnesota charity to name a service dog Lambo. And so I get the updates like every single year. So it turns out that Lambo got partnered with a person named Nora, who is a diehard Packers fan. Lambo graduated this past Saturday, and I'm actually going to be interviewing Nora. So, yeah, just a little uh, stuff about Chaotic Good. We'll put out a little video on that. But, yeah, nice. It's just like such a, like, a good feel-good story and like <laughs> went to a diehard Packers fan. Like, yeah, it was just it was freaking great. So I'm excited Amazing. for it. Amazing. It's a lot of Chaotic Good, baby. That's it. But, folks, we appreciate you. We're probably going to take the day off on Friday for GPS, but don't worry. There will still be content slinging. But we'll talk to you soon, unless there's crazy news that breaks. Then we'll be back on Friday. But, folks... Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassi. That's Brandon Perna. This is GPS. And you have been Hammergator. Suck a geode, rock.